Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some examples uh, and then work out some problems related to vector triple products. In in here, we want to we want to say if we have a vector a, which is given to us as three i minus j plus two k, and then if vector b is given to us as 2i plus j minus k and if vector c is given to us as i minus 2j plus 2k we want to show or we want to prove or we want to show that one of the properties of uh, vector triple products is true and that property is vector a cross vector b cross c is equal to vector a dot vector c and then we're going to times that by vector b minus vector a cross vector c vector a dot vector c and then we go to times that with vector c okay so we will call this as the left hand side of the expression and then we'll call this as the right hand side of the expression and we'll take one at a time and then substitute the values of the vectors the vector components given to us and then prove that this property is true okay so we'll start with the left hand side of the expression in here we want to we want to show that vector a cross vector b cross vector c if we were to take that and if we were to um, plug in the numbers uh, or substitute the components for these vectors this is how it's going to look like vector a we'll write as is cross vector b cross vector c we can use matrices to find that so i'm going to write this one as i j k and the components of vector b um, we have 2i plus j minus k we're going to pick the coefficients of i j and k in here and write them out for for vector b for i the coefficient of i is 2 the coefficient of j is 1 coefficient of k is negative 1 and then uh, for vector C, the coefficient of i is 1, the coefficient of j is negative 2, and the coefficient of k is 2. So we want to find the determinant of the, this, matrix, this, uh, this uh, matrix, and then we want to cross it with vector A. So when we simplify this, it's going to simplify as follows. So let me say this. We're going to travel along the first row. And the sign convention we're going to use to find the determinant is we're going to use the positive positive sign, negative sign, and positive sign. The signs are all going to alternate. Therefore, when we expand this, it is going to look like this. Vector A cross, and then we're going to expand this. This is going to be I, the minor of that, which is going to be 1, negative 1, negative 2, 2, and then minus J. The, the minor of that which we, which is 2 negative 1 1 2 plus k the minor of that is 2 1 1 negative 2 so when we expand this this is going to be i times i times 2 negative 2 times negative 2 1 times 2 is 2 negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 but with a negative sign will be negative 2 minus j times 2 times 2 is 4 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 times negative will be positive 1 plus k times 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1 times 1 is 1 so when we simplify this some more this is going to go to 0 therefore this is going to be 0i this is going to go to 0 um, 4 plus 1 is 5 therefore minus 5 j and then negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5 therefore negative 5 k 
So we're going to take this and then cross that with vector a, with vector a. And therefore, we can now um, take the components of vector a and then cross it with uh, the product of b, b and c. So for vector a, we have 3i minus j plus 2k, and then we're going to cross that with 0i minus 5j minus 5k, which we have just uh, determined. Okay. Therefore, to find the cross product of this, we're going to use determinants again, and the way to write it out is as follows. i, j, k, and the coefficients of i is 3, coefficient of j is negative 1, and the coefficient of k is 2. For the second uh, vector, the coefficient of i is 0, the coefficient of j is negative 5, and the coefficient of k is also negative 5. Therefore, we want to find the determinant of that. We're going to travel along the first, call, first row, and then the sign convention for that is positive, negative, positive. Therefore, when we expand this, we're going to get i, the minor of that, is negative 1, 2, negative 5, negative 5 then minus j, the minor of that is 3, 2, 0, negative 5, and plus k, the minor of that is 3, negative 1, 0, negative 5, like that. So when we expand this, we're going to get i times negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, times negative will be positive 10, and then minus j, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, minus 0 times 2 is 0, and then plus k times 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, minus 0 times negative 1 is 0. So therefore, when we simplify this, it's going to be 5 plus 10 is 15, 15i, negative times negative is a positive, therefore 15j, and then minus 15k. So that's what we got. Therefore, this is um, the a result of vector a cross vector b cross vector c. So we did b cross c first, and then we crossed it with vector a. And the result is this value here. So I'm going to put a box around it. And now, we have, we have just solved the left-hand side of the expression. We will take the right-hand side of the expression and see what we get. So the right-hand side of the expression, we have, um, we have the following things. A dot C, and then we're going to times that with vector B minus vector A dot vector B, and we're going to times that with vector C. So we know the components of A, B, and C in here. We will substitute that and then see what we get. For vector A, we have 3i minus j plus 2k, and then we want to dot that with uh, C, which is i minus 2j plus 2k, right? And then all of this, we want to multiply that by, by vector b, which is going to be 2i plus j minus k, okay? So I'm going to put that in parentheses like that. And the second part of the expression here we have is negative of vector A is 3i minus j plus 2k dot vector B is 2i plus j minus k and then we're going to times this by vector C which is i minus 2j plus 2k, like that. 
So therefore now we are ready to expand these and we are going to use these properties which are the dot product properties are i dot i is equal to 1 and j dot j is equal to 1 and k dot k is also equal to 1. So let me write that a little bit more clear. k dot k is also equal to 1 and on and uh, also i dot j is equal to 0 and uh, j dot k is equal to 0 and k dot i is equal to 0. So we will use these and uh, while expanding these these uh, vector operations. Okay, So in here 3i times i is going to be 3 i dot i that is going to be 3 then uh, i dot j is going to go to 0 3i dot 2k that is going to go to 0 so therefore I'm not going to write that and then negative j uh, dot i that is going to go to 0 negative j times negative 2j that is going to be equal to positive 2j dot j is going to be equal to 1 so therefore that then j dot k is going to go to 0 and then the, with the third component 2k dot i it is going to, that is going to go to 0 so we're not going to write that k dot j that is going to go to 0 therefore we're not going to write that then 2k times 2k that is going to be equal to plus 4 k dot k is going to be equal to 1 therefore that is that part there and then we're going to times that by 2i plus j minus k then the second part of the expression we have is negative of we're going to dot uh, uh, we're going to do the dot product for these two vectors here and that is going to be I'm going to put that in brackets like that 3i dot 2i so that is going to be 6i dot i therefore 6 and then um, 3i i dot j is going to go to 0, i dot k is going to go to 0, j dot i is going to go to 0, j dot j is negative 1, j dot j is 1, so therefore negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, and then um, j dot k is going to go to 0, 2, uh, k dot i is going to 0, k dot j is going to go to 0, and then plus 2k times negative k, that is going to be equal to negative 2, k dot k is equal to 1 therefore we're going to write this as that times the vector we have uh, to uh, distribute is i minus 2j plus 2k like that okay we will simplify this the way to simplify this is as follows 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus uh, 4 is 9 9 times 2i plus j minus k and then the second part here is minus 6 minus 1 is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 times i minus 2j plus 2k okay now we want to we want to distribute the 9 to every one of the terms in this set of parentheses. We want to distribute this negative 3 to every one of this, these terms inside this set of parentheses. So therefore, when we expand this, 9 times 2i is 18i plus 9j minus 9k and then minus 3i plus 6j, negative times negative is a positive, negative 3 times 2k is negative 6k. We have some similar terms so we will combine them. 18i minus 3i that is going to be equal to 15i. Then 9j plus 6j that is going to be equal to plus 15j. And then minus 9k minus 6k that is going to be equal to minus 15k. Therefore this is a result of vector a dot 
vector C times vector B minus vector A dot vector B and then when we times that with vector C and that is what we got so this is the result of that so when we see this um, this is same as the result what we've obtained here therefore we can therefore uh, come back here and say the value what we've obtained for the left hand side of the expression is exactly equal to the value what we have on the right hand side of the expression and therefore this property is true and this property is that vector a cross b cross c is the same as is equal to vector a dot vector c times vector b minus vector a dot vector b and then this is times vector c like that so therefore these two expressions the left hand side of the expression is exactly equal to the right hand side of the expression and therefore this property is true in my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to vector triple products.